Knowledge makes you free Knowledge makes you strong With your heart Right in the place You can't be going wrong When the going gets so hard You need to be on guard And all that you have Is the Hello everyone, welcome to Light of Knowledge International. I'm Dr. Amarjeet from Thailand and today we have a very charming sister all the way from Netherlands, Sister Olga, and she works in the administrative field for the government to do with social services. And she's been in mindfulness and meditation for many years and with the Brahma Kumaris for nine years. Welcome Sister Olga. Hello. Sister Olga, tell us um, what was it that got you interested in meditation and uh, especially here with the Brahma Kumaris? Mm. Oh, I um, was doing a lot of personal development uh, because I'm feeling not very happy. I was happy, but there was something missing and uh, I was searching for that, so I go for talk with a, a psychologist, and I go for a tarot card, um, and uh, mindfulness, and all that kind of things. And it helped, um, uh, helps uh, a bit, but not that much. That I, that I feel inside there was more. So I was searching for that and then a friend of mine uh, was meditating by the Brahma Kumaris and she told me, oh come with me once uh, um, try and it. try it. Um, okay, I go with her to a workshop and yeah, there was something what touches me, my heart. Um, and I thought, wow, why never um, tell anyone that uh, to me before? <laughs> okay, you were wondering why no one told you before yeah. that all this beautiful knowledge and a uh, solution to many things is possible here. Yeah, there was a, an other energy in the talking to the uh, 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 through the uh, people uh, be, uh, by the Brahma Kumaris. They say, uh, yeah, they have they have an other vibration in their language. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but that was what my, my heart touched. And the vibrations of the people, you could feel that beyond yeah. language. Yes, okay, yes. That's beautiful. Yes. So you, I think what you said is very true for many of us, mm. that uh, we are happy with life and we have a lot of, uh, we tried a lot of things, me included and the mindfulness and you even tried tarot card reading and so many other things that did help you as you admit and I also felt the same on my journey but there was something still missing some mm. hollowness some incomplete and when you stepped in here which luckily a friend invited you you were able to find that gap being filled Mm. So did you feel whole again? Did you feel, ah, oh, now I'm fine, or at least I know what to do. Are you feeling that now? Yeah, almost immediately. 
th this is what I want to practice more, and I will want to know more about uh, about it, or wh what the Brahma Kumaris is telling me and teaching me. So that was, yeah, what I feel immediately. So I was eager to get more of it. This I start to go to the center, took the course. Then after the seven days course, I like to know some, uh, yeah, more of about it. <laughs> so because y you mentioned that you were on a personal development journey mm. and you were looking for something to help you uh, overcome something inside that will help your personality and your personal life journey. Yes. And so here you have been able to tap into that and it has filled you and so you know what to do and you have to keep going deeper in that. So you found the path mm. and you're just now having to do it and uh, work on yourself. Sister Olga, you mentioned s something to me while we were talking that you were, uh, you found uh, the community uh, prevalent uh, in the institute as a, the community, uh, we call it uh, the sa, the sangat in Hindi, the community, sa, uh, community vibration to be very helpful mm -hmm. in your journey. Can you tell us more about that? And I think that's what brings you to Mount Abu. That's what you mentioned. Mm. Yes. Um, when I meditate with other people in the same room, the, there is a higher energy f uh, going on, so I can meditate deeper, and then uh, I realize some things about myself, and that let me grow. I can practice that in my daily life uh, with my friends and family. I have two children at home and yeah, we have a, a nice uh, family, but when I started the Brahma Kumaris, there's something uh, switch and um, we communicate more softly, more gentle to each other and more compassionate because I start to do that. And my children, yeah, they do, do what they do, or did what they did, and, but because of my change, the children also slightly, slowly, slowly, um, there became a difference, and we are more laughing, more sweet, uh, more, um, uh, less anger or frustration things, of, Yes, that was, uh, yeah, that's very nice uh, influence. Influence, yes. That's really nice. So you live with your uh, two children? Yes. And your husband? I'm divorced. Okay. And but you take care of the children? Yes, one week and then one week okay. the father and so on. So this meditation, and you mentioned that in the congregation you were able to uh, tap into that energy easier and quicker and so that's why you like the gathering mm. and um, so the gathering is a powerful tool to um, have for reaching your own personal development mm, yes. and as you said you actually got the result that you were kinder and compassionate and sweeter and it made your family life happier mm. and less stressful and the children also changed because you changed. Yes. So self-transformation helped uh, environment okay. transformation. Tell me more about uh, your experience and, uh, you know, the meditation. How does it help you inside? If you can share what, what do you do that you can help someone out there? What is it that you do inside that you can tell someone try this, it will help you in your life. Uh, with the Brahma Kumaris, um, you learn spiritual knowledge and how to use it in daily practice. But there's a, 
other component and that's the divine source you can contact with with your, uh, with your intellect and, and your soul and there is a lot of power it's like charging your telephone you're plug in and it flows to you and you feel energized and more in peace uh, more loveful that's what happens when you tune in with the divine that's very interesting to know that you know we talk of meditation so easily in the world but we what you are saying is there's a divine knowledge involved that we need to get yes. and when you get this knowledge then it helps you to tune into the divine source yes. and from that source then you can fill up with love and light and become more happy and more peaceful and reach whatever you want mm. so those out there um, as you can hear what sister Olga said we do need this divine knowledge which is probably the light of knowledge as well and uh, that will help us to meditate deeper and uh, you before coming into the Brahma Kumaris you were doing meditation as well yes yeah? yes but that was different right yes there is missing that yeah that divine power but uh, after the yoga practice the hatha yoga i did it very very often uh, always in the end we have a meditation and it's nice and you feel quiet and uh, you come home and you also feel better but it stay no not so not long it's i understand what you're saying that uh, the earlier meditation practice that you did after Hatha Yoga or other you were feeling good and you came home but it didn't last yes and it didn't transform your nature yes. but here like what you mentioned you feel that because it's diving into the divine source which mm. is huge you are able to um, feel the power longer yes. easier mm. and it lasts longer as well and you are able to transform is that what you're saying yes yes the transformation that was where i was searching for um it was happening by uh, with the psychologist uh, by example but now it's going f much faster much faster mm. uh, and without psychologists uh, without psychologists yes i i overcome anger i was quick frustrating um, about things and that's not so nice to do <laughs> you felt you were reactive and reactive, angry yes. and yeah. strong yeah. and now you're not like that anymore no no I, f I feel more comfortable with myself and thereby with others they don't trigger me uh, any anymore because of the transformation the anger is gone that's what happening when you study the knowledge the divine knowledge so the divine knowledge and the divine connection with the source takes away your anger automatically no you have you have to do something yes you have to uh, practice of course yeah god tells you how you can okay. do that and in the community you can practice with each other because everyone has his own problems and you know a lot of people brahma Kumaris is a very large organization in madhuban there are lots of uh, people together and you can speak with other people who study with the brahma Kumaris. Uh, uh, over the whole world and you can share how you do how you can do some transformation and you can learn from each other mm -hmm. and we use all the same knowledge so it's easy to talk hmm. so you communicate in the gathering yes. so the power of the gathering is not just the energy and the vibration that you get in meditation but also you're able to communicate with each other mm. in the same language that is familiar with the knowledge 
and you're able to tap into each other's guidance mm. to different problems in life mm -hmm. And so you're able to use those guidance uh, and help yourself in your life yes. to change. That's really, really nice. You told me you're not much of a speaker and we understand that you're from Netherlands, mm. but still to hear that it's very universal. Mm. That's why to have you is a pleasure. And um, for you to share that you are gaining from your practice Tell us more about the practice. What is it you do every day? Can you tell us and tell everyone that what should one do every day as a routine to be able to get out of anger, to be able to help ourselves? How do you begin your day, for example, your routine? How do you begin your day and how do you end it? Okay, um, I go for a shower and then I go meditate. Uh, for one and a half, uh, for one and a half an hour. Half an hour half every an morning. Hour. Yes, and then. So you shower first. You don't meditate first. No, I I, sh I shower first, and then I go to class or online. Uh, online as well. As well, yes. Yeah. Um, and there we meditate in half an hour, and then. We got. Uh, we have a class, and there um, is the, the they yeah. read the spiritual knowledge, and afterwards we can share some in insights uh, what we took from the class th that day, and that helps a lot. Each other can tell their experience. Mm. And then we go to work, I go to work. So let me just uh, touch into what you just said. So every morning you meditate half an hour mm -hmm. and you have a spiritual class yes. that you join online. If you're here, then you do live. Yeah. If you're at home and you're far away from any center or gathering, you do online yes. and you listen and then you share points of what you heard and everyone shares. Yes. And if you have any questions, you can ask. You can ask. So doing this every day, this half an hour meditation and one hour of uh, some spiritual class has helped you transform. Do you do anything else all day or in the evening or something special? Yes, in, in the whole day, because it is in early in the morning, you can hold that knowledge and when there's on, on on, uh, at work, there's a problem. You, you remember the knowledge mm. and you can remember the divine. At that moment, you can uh, charge yourself and then you, you can solve problems on, uh, at work. Mm. Wow. What you said is really amazing that even during work, you are able to pause and use a particular point of knowledge and tap into the source even during the day when you're not meditating that's yeah. that's very uh, good to know and helpful that if you have a strong base you can um, actually it comes it flows to you during the day as well mm. no? yes, yeah. yes and do you do mm. anything at night then yes before i go to sleep then i meditate for 15 minutes and i write I write things about the day or what I experienced that day and of, uh, what I, I want to ask, um, what I want to improve, that I'm writing, then I go to sleep and I sleep much better when I write all, every day. So That is really, really beautiful. You have helped us that such simple things can help our lives. Thank you, Sister Olga. You're welcome. So thank you everyone for joining in. And as you can see, Sister Olga is a sweet and simple soul, just like any one of us who's on a journey of self-transformation. And in that, then her family also enjoys the change and they also, the children grow in a better environment of love. And it's just a little practice of half an hour of meditation only, some spiritual knowledge 
and that helps you throughout the day. And what she does is night, at night is she checks herself because she wants to improve that we keep a journal or put in what I've done wrong today, what I can improve on and what questions you want to ask the divine and just put it out there so you clear your intellect and your mind and you can go to sleep nicely. So those are beautiful tools that we got from our amazing sister. So thank you everyone and see you again in the next session soon. Om Shanti.